we're going to measure an angle and this one is an acute angle it's less than 90 degrees and obviously we're going to use our protractors and again with our protractors remember this is the important point here we want to have this intersection right here this T intersection that point right there has to match this point right here and try and get it smack bang on and then once we have that we need to make sure that this this line here this horizontal line is also lined up with one of the arms of the angle so we'll do that I'm going to line this up here so I'm going to put that smack bang on just adjust 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 I take my time when I'm adjusting there's no need to rush this is the important bit I need to make sure this is perfect and that is great I'm smack bang on now you can see again I have two numbers here 0 and 180 I don't use these ones I don't use the 180 with these measurements here from 180 I always have to start at 0 so I'm using these outer numbers this time so again I start at 0 just follow it around 10 20 30 40 so it's between 40 and 50 and I look really closely and it's just over 145 but 146 oh, sorry just 46 so I'll do that again so 0 10 20 30 40 45 just over 45 nearly 46 so I'm gonna call that 46 and that's the size of this particular acute angle 46 degrees